guys, welcome back. I am so excited for you guys to see today's video because I've been getting so many requests to share festival or concert hairstyles. So I've teamed up with Garnier Fructis to share with you some really easy and fun festival hairstyles and some really cute ways that you can customize them and make them your own. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and I'd love if you guys left me a comment letting me know which look was your favorite. All right, let's get started. First up, Festival Hair Prep. I'm using the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Tree One Minute Hair Mask with Avocado Extract. I just scoop a small amount onto my fingers and then I rub it in between my palms and you want to apply this to freshly washed wet hair. And I like to focus this on the mid shafts where my hair gets the most tangled and on the ends and then any excess on my hands I'll just rub onto my roots. Next, I just clip my hair up. Oh, and the best part, you only need to leave this hair mask in for one minute, or you can leave it in as a leave-in conditioner. Once I've rinsed it out, I'm just applying the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum with Argan Oil. I dispense one full pump, and again, I rub it in between my palms, and you guys, the serum smells so delicious. So I focus this mostly on the mid shafts of my hair and of course the ends and then any excess I'll apply to my roots because that's usually where I get the most frizz. Next up, I'm just roughly blow drying my hair and to speed up the drying process, what I like to do is just continuously shake my hair while blow drying it and then I focus most of the heat on my roots because damp roots equal frizz. Now I just quickly wanted to show you, but look how healthy and shiny it looks. I love it. All right, to create boho waves, my go-to for our festivals and summer, I just use a one and a quarter inch curling wand and I wrap about one inch sections of hair around the barrel away from my face. Once the hair is warmed up, probably four seconds, I just release the curl and then I pull down on it while it cools and this will create more of a bend versus a curl. And then I just continue the same step throughout the rest of my hair. To lock it all in, I'm using the Garnier Fructis Hold and Flex Frizz Control Anti-Frizz Hairspray. I just spray this all over. It's very humid here in the summer, so this product is great to not only hold my waves in place all day, but it creates a barrier against frizz, even in extreme humidity, you guys, so your hairstyle will stay sleek and shiny. Hair is prepped. You could leave it like this, or you could try one of these simple hairstyles. First up is a cool way to spice up your hair if you are leaving it down. Now give yourself a deep side part and then place your finger at the back of your part and begin tracing across the back of your head until you reach the middle. Then trace straight down to the nape of your neck. You just want to place this left section out of the way for now and then clip your right section up out of the way. So to start the braid, grab the top inch of your side section by tracing from your hairline to the back of the section. Once completely sectioned off, divide into three equal pieces. You want to start your braid at the end of your part, so quite far back, and we want to Dutch braid. So we're going to bring the right piece underneath the middle piece, and then we're going to bring the left piece underneath the middle piece. So we want to repeat this, but this time, before bringing that right piece underneath the middle, you'll want to grab a one inch section of hair from the right side of the braid, so at the back of your head. Once you've grabbed your new section and joined it into your right piece, then you just wanna bring it underneath that middle piece. So now on the left side, before we bring that piece under, you just wanna grab a one inch section of hair from the left side of your head and join it into that left piece. Once it's joined in, just bring it underneath your middle piece. So you just want to continue a Dutch braiding all the way down, trying to keep your braid completely vertical and straight. I think this just looks so unique and adds a more edgy appearance to the hairstyle. Very festival appropriate. Once you've reached your neck, just continue a three strand braiding down the remainder of your section. Now, before we secure it off, we want to pancake it to make it pop. So just pull on small sections of hair from the outside of your braids. I like to start at the top on one side, working my way down, and then repeating on the other side. Once you're happy with the size of your braid, I think the bigger the better, just secure the end with a hair elastic. Then unclip your right section, let it down, and it should completely hide the back. And then to make it a little more fun, since it is a festival hairstyle, I added little silver hoops to the outside of my braid. And that's it. This is the perfect way to add a little edge to your hairstyle, especially if you love wearing your hair down. 
This next hairstyle is so cute. My personal favorite is just a great hairstyle for summer. So first up, section off all of your hair above your temples. And when it comes to more boho hairstyles, I like to leave enough hair down to cover my ears. Once you've sectioned off your hair, just secure it with a small hair elastic. Then, so it doesn't look too perfect, I just pulled on small sections of hair around my crown and this will also add volume. You guys already know. Now to create our bubbles, you want to place a hair elastic about four fingers down from our previous one. Once secure and your elastic's nice and tight, it's time for the best part. You just want to begin gently pulling on all sides of your section. For it to appear more like a bubble, you just want to make sure that each piece of hair is slightly pulled out. Once you're happy with it, you can always adjust it later. Just go ahead and secure another hair elastic about four fingers down from the previous one. And then same thing, begin pulling on all sides of the section and you can see here how pulling on all sides really gives you that bubble appearance. So I repeated this one more time, creating a total of three bubbles, but go ahead, add as many as you want. Even smaller ones would look so cute. And then a fun way to finish off this hairstyle is to add material to cover your hair elastics. I found some faux white suede and I cut it into small pieces and just tied it around my hair elastics, but you could also use string, ribbon, or even lace it would look super cool. And there you go. I think this hairstyle is so cute and such an easy way to switch up a half up hairstyle. Okay, I love this one. It's a stacked braid giving you that faux hawk appearance, perfect for a festival. Begin by sectioning off all the hair at the top of your head and just clipping it out of the way. Now section off the top one inch section from the remaining hair and once it's sectioned off, just divide it into three equal pieces. We are going to be Dutch braiding this section, so you want to bring the right piece underneath the middle piece. Then you want to bring the left piece underneath the middle piece, and this is going to start our braid. Next step, before you bring the right piece underneath, you want to section off another one inch section of hair from the right side, and then join it into that right piece. Once it's joined in, just bring it underneath the middle. So just continue Dutch braiding down the remainder of your head. Feel free to grab larger sections for a more undone look or grab even smaller sections if you want it to be more detailed. Once you reach your neck, you just want to continue three strand braiding down the remainder of the section. Once you've finished braiding, just begin pancaking the braid by grabbing on the outside of each section and giving it a little pull. And this is going to fan out the braid and make it nice and big. Once you're happy with it, just secure your ends with a hair elastic and it should look a little similar to this. Next up, that top section from earlier, unclip it. And then you wanna section this into three equal pieces. Now, before I begin braiding, I attach some gold chain onto a bobby pin and I'm just going to slide this underneath my section and secure it into place with the second bobby pin. And then I'm just going to join the chain into my right section. So now with our three pieces, you just want to begin tightly three strand braiding all the way down to the end of your section. Now, once you finish braiding, just secure your ends with a hair elastic. Now we want to secure our top braid to our bottom braid. So just remove the hair elastic from your bottom braid and then re-secure both braids together. And then to help keep the braids stacked, slide some bobby pins underneath your top braid, securing it to that bottom braid. I probably used about five bobby pins. And then I applied a little bit of hairspray just to help tame my flyaways. And there we have it. This hairstyle is so fun, it's unique, and it's a really cool way to put your hair up for a festival. So there we have it, you guys. I really hope this hair tutorial helped inspire you for this festival season. Don't forget to let me know what you guys thought, and if you'll be trying out any of these hair accessories, I just think that they're so fun, they're different, and they can really make a hairstyle unique. But if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will link all of the Garnier products down below, so feel free to check them out. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.